Good morning to everyone. I am Sujata. I am working as a math faculty in Vignan Bharatiya High School. Today I am going to explain 10th class topic that is sets. Second chapter that is sets. Set theory is developed by George Cantor. Set theory is developed by George Cantor. What is the meaning of set? A well defined collection of objects is called as set. What is the meaning of set? A well defined collection of objects is called as set. First we are going to know about the collection. What is the meaning of collection? We collect some coins. We collect some stamps. We collect some numbers. Okay, all those are a collection only. What is the meaning of well defined? Well defined means every element in a set follows a common property. Every, every element in a set follows a common property. We are going to be able to decide each and every element. Suppose we take an element, that the element belongs to that set or not. That is we are able to decide that one. Okay. But what is the meaning of well defined? All the objects, all the objects in the set should have a common property. It should be possible to decide whether that uh, given object or given element belongs to that set or not. Belongs to that set or not. We are able to decide that one. That is the meaning of well defined. That is the meaning of well defined. We usually, we usually denote a set by using uppercase letters. What is the meaning of uppercase letters? Uppercase letters is nothing but uh, capital letters. We are always denote the letter sets by using capital letters only A, capital A, capital B, capital C like that only. Each and every object in a set we are going to call as element. We are going to call as element. Element. Here A equal to 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. This is the well defined collection of numbers this is we are able to decide uh, this is a set of odd numbers b equal to 2 4 6 8 and so on this is a set of even numbers a c set e c equal to a comma e comma i comma o comma u this is the collection of vowels in english alphabet this is our this is these are the examples of set these are the examples of set. Set means a well-defined collection of objects is called as set. Next, set here we are going to take as January, January, June, July. All those are the months of months in a year which are started with the letter J. Which are started with the letter J. This is also a well-defined set. This is also a well-defined set. B equal to set b equal to apple mango banana this is also well defined set why because we are able to decide that that is the fruit set that is the fruit set okay well defined collection of objects is called as set is called as set next we are going to define sets are described into two types sets are described into two types first one is First one is roster form, roster form or list form, roster form or list form. Second one is set builder form, set builder form, set builder form or characterized form, characterized form. We describe the sets into two ways. First one is roster form or list form. Second one is set builder form or ruler form. What is the meaning of roster form? In this form, a set is described by the listing out of elements. By listing out of the elements. Those elements are separated by using commas and we kept those elements in the curly brackets or flower brackets. What is the meaning of roster form? In this form, the elements of a set listing listing out by separating the elements by using commas 
and we kept those elements in curly brackets that form is called as roster form the for example the set of vowels in english alphabet the set of vowels in english alphabet we represent we describe that uh, set as a equal to a comma e comma i comma o comma u those are the elements of a set those are the vowels of english alphabet those are the vowels of english alphabet suppose an element belongs to that set suppose the element a belongs to the set a then we use the symbol of belongs to suppose e belongs to a then we use the symbol belongs to a belongs to a belongs to a e the element e belongs to the set a suppose we are going to take an element uh, t t t is present in the set a no t is does not present in the set a that's why we are going to use t does not belongs to the set a this is the symbol of belongs to suppose the element belongs to that set the element present in that set then we use the symbol of belongs belongs to otherwise suppose the element does not present in the set then we use does not belongs to the element t does not belongs to the set a next we are going to in in the representation of set we write the element only one time no need to repeat the same element in the representation of while writing a set while writing a set don't repeat the element don't repeat the element okay elements cannot be repeated while writing a set while writing a set we are no need to repeat the same element okay in the explanation of sets we use another form that is a set builder form what is the meaning of set builder form set builder form in this form a set is described by a characterized property by a characterized property p of x of its elements x in such a case the set is described by x such that p of x holds p of x holds for example set a equal to the set a containing the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay we are going to represent this uh, roster form or list form into set builder set builder form how we are going to explain in set builder form x such that x is an element in the set a x is an element in the set a all the elements are uh, belongs to natural number set only that's why x belongs to n okay x value less than 8 we are going to take the natural numbers up to 7 only and the less than strictly less than 8 okay the natural numbers which are uh, which are uh, less than 8 those uh, numbers only we take in the set a okay the roster form and uh, set builder form must represent the same set only the roster form and uh, set builder form those two represent the uh, same set only now i am going to explain about types of sets in types of sets first i am going to say about empty set or null set or void set what is the meaning of empty set a set containing no elements a set containing no elements the number of elements in a set is zero the number of elements in a set is zero and the set containing no elements then the set is called as empty set okay we are going to denote the empty set by using pi or empty braces okay for example a equal to the set a represents as x belongs to r x is a real number and x square is equal to x square equal to minus 2 the square of any real number never be negative always positive 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 minus 1 whole square 1 minus 2 whole square minus 2 into minus 2 minus 2 into minus plus 2 to the power okay the square of any real number always positive but here he given x square equal to minus 2 the square of real number as negative integer negative real number okay there is no such a real value that's why this is becomes as a empty set 
What is the meaning of empty set? The number of elements in a set is zero. A set containing no elements. A set containing no elements. Then the set is called as empty set. Then the set is called as empty set. So next, I am going to explain second one. That is single turn set. What is the what is the next one? Single turn set. What is the meaning of single turn set? A set containing only one element. A set containing only one element. The number of elements in a set is one. Then that set is called as single turn set. Okay, a set containing only one element. Then that set is called as single turn set. For example, x such that x belongs to n. X is a natural number. Natural numbers are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. And uh, x square equal to 9. He given a condition. x square value is equal to 9. This is possible only x. Suppose we are going to take x equal to 3. Then 3 square value is 9. Minus 3 square value is also 9. Minus 3 into minus 3. Minus into minus plus. 3 3 is 9. This is also this is also minus 3 whole square is also 9. But uh, he given the element belongs to natural number set. But in natural number set, we take only positive numbers. We take only positive counting numbers. Here minus 3 does not belong to minus 3 does not belong to n. That's why here we are getting x square equal to 9. The element uh, 3 only satisfies the given condition. The element 3 only satisfies the given given condition so the set is called as singleton set a set containing only one element a set containing only one element then the set is called as singleton set next i am going to explain about finite set okay we are going to take a set okay thus the countable a set containing countable number of elements a set containing countable number of elements, then that set is called as finite set. Then the set is called as finite set. Okay. Countable number of elements. A set containing countable number of elements, then the set is called as finite set. Set of natural numbers which are less than or equal to 100. And what is that meaning? We are going to write the natural numbers less than or equal to 100. Natural numbers are starting from 1, 2, 3 and so on. You are going to write up to 100. Okay, those elements are countable. So, this set is called as finite set. What is the meaning of finite set? The number of elements in a set is countable. The number of elements in a set is countable. Then the set is called as finite set. Okay, for example, set of natural numbers less than or equal to 100. We are going to write the natural numbers from 1 to 100. A equal to 1, 2, 3, up to 100. Those numbers are called as, those numbers are, the set A is called as finite set. The set A is called as finite set. Those are the natural numbers which are less than or equal to 100. Next, cardinal number of the set. The number of elements present in a set. The number of elements present in a set. That number is called as Cardinal number of the set. The number of elements present in a set. The number of elements present in a set. That number is called as cardinal number of the set. Cardinal number of the set. For example, for example, A equal to A, B, C, D. The set A containing four elements. What are those four elements? A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four. The set A containing 4 elements. The number of elements in set A equal to 4. Okay. The cardinal number of a set represented as N of A. N of A means the number of elements presenting in the set A equal to 4. This is called as cardinal number of a set. What is the meaning of cardinal number? The number of elements present in a set. The number of elements present in a set is called as cardinal number. The set A containing 4 elements, that's why we are going to write N of A equal to 4. N of A equal to 4. Next, I am going to explain about equal sets. What is the meaning of equal sets? Let A comma B are any two sets. Let A comma B are any two sets. 
the day come up here any two sets if every element of a is present in b and every element of b is present in a then those two sets are called as equal sets let a and b are any two sets every element of a is present in b and every element of b is present in a then those two sets are called as equal sets for example for example we are going to take a equal to a equal to a b c b equal to c a b those two sets containing same elements the set a containing a b c the elements which are present in the set b also a b c irrespective of order no need of order other to sambandham led okay two sets having same elements then those two sets are called as equal sets next i am going to explain about equivalent sets equivalent sets let a and b are two sets let a and b are two sets the number of elements in a and b are same the number of elements in a and b are same then those two sets are called as equivalent sets a equal to 1 2 3 4 number of elements in the set a equal to 4 b equal to a b c d number of elements in the set b equal to 4 n of a equal to n of b number of elements in a and number of elements in b those two are equal so those two sets are called as equivalent sets here no need of same elements no need of same elements all equivalent all equal sets are equivalent but all equivalent sets need not be equal sets students everyone read about the definitions i will discuss later in the coming class coming class